Welcome to another exciting episode of The Million Dollar Peddlers. I'm Paper Guy. And I'm Mr. Magazine. And a lot of people out there that have channels, they will tell you something at some point, and then all of a sudden they'll be doing something completely different and acting like they felt that way all the way hmm. through. Okay. We're not that kind of channel. Okay. When we change our mind, we will tell you that we change our mind and give you the reasons behind it. Mm-hmm. And I'm specifically talking about grading, grading comic books. Uh, we did a video, gosh, probably had to be about two years ago now, okay. um, where we were talking about we just didn't see the value in grading. And I believe you've changed your tune at this point. Yeah, I don't believe we had that uh, original <laughs> You've never seen that video, huh? No. <laughs> you sure it wasn't me in there? Or? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was you. Okay. Um, basically, our thoughts at the time were that... It was more or less a crapshoot a lot of times. Mm -hmm. Um, And maybe it was because we hadn't had higher grade things. And you've also learned the value of pressing, which I think makes a big difference as well. Um, Because we've sent in cards before and comics before. I'm talking, you know, 10, 15 years ago. And Mm -hmm. we looked at them and go, oh, these look really, really nice. And we sent them in and all of a sudden the grade we got back, we're like, really? That's really the grade we got back? How horrible. True. Um, Things have changed, so why don't you tell us your feeling on grading now and why? Well, for starters, I'm kind of a uh, procrastinator when it comes to certain things, and I prioritize. And I think for whatever reason, with the grading, you you can either join their club Mm -hmm. or you can fill out the form and put down the values and all that. Not that it's a hard thing to do, but it's something like, I'll get to it, I'll get to it, and I never would get to it. Well, uh, I'm actually friends with a local comic dealer up the road. I've known him a long time, and... I don't know if it got into a conversation where he sends them out. And I said, hey, you know, can you send mine out for me? I got a bunch I want to get done. He goes, sure, I do that for everybody. Like, So basically, he'll give me a bulk discount, and then he'll take on a fee for his time, which mm-hmm. I could care less about. And then uh, we ended up making a deal. It worked out. And a friend of his uh, that helps him out does the pressing and cleaning. So and once I started that, I got back great numbers, uh, made some good money, and I kept going. So basically, every month, I'm sending out 10, 20, 50, 100 comics or magazines every month, and getting them back little by little. Now now that you've been doing that regularly, I mean, you've you've sent out magazines and comics, <clears throat> thousands of them at this point, correct? Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. What tips would you give to people out there should they wish? Oh, well, first off, I, I'm thinking you should probably use the big reading service only, correct? Um, yes, um, there are some other options now with the other companies, but um, like for my own collection and higher grade, like more sought after stuff, definitely go with the the main company which is cgc CGC, yeah now you were telling me that another company out there is i think pgx i think if there's i don't know if they're uh, still grading or not but yeah C- they're like the third one cbcs i think it is or cgcs yeah. something like that they're number two and you were saying that their comics traded a discount to cgc for yeah. their same grade yeah about 10 percent less 10 percent discount right yeah. right so now people will use them because are they the other ones are they easier graders so they have quicker turnaround time are uh, they quicker, cheaper quicker turnaround a little cheaper um, their grades I guess are getting tougher than they originally were now um, but I guess they have other options for turnaround time where you can pay a little more say ten dollars more and get them back twice as fast as you would from CGC okay so but here's the problem you're paying ten percent more to grade them to get them back faster. And then they're going to be worth 10% less. You're really leaving 20% on the table. Right. So. Which which I guess if you've got a, a big show coming up and you know these right. things are going to be you know in demand anyway, mm. it might be worth it to you in that instance. But otherwise, sure. you go with uh, CGC if you're doing the comic books. Right, yeah. Um, <clears throat> and now you were mentioning pressing. What What is that and how do you get that done? Um, there's the, Actually, CGC or these other companies will do it for you. Um, the local guy charges a lot less. Um, you know, They'll press the corners. Clean them if there's any dirt or anything on them. Smooth them out. Um, if there's any wrinkles, you know. So, in you know, not that you're going to guarantee a half grade or a grade, but I would say you e- easily would get that overall. Per, okay, per so issue, it's yeah. it's well worth doing. Sure, most absolutely. of the time. Yeah. Okay, and um, what is the turnaround time and the cost at this point for uh, oh, CGC? Gee. So for comics, it could be anywhere from four to eight months. For magazines, it could be. Six to nine months, ten months. Um, so you're tying your money up for a fair amount of time. Yeah, if, if it's higher end stuff, they charge more and you get it back quicker. So say I had you know vintage Silver Age X Men, you know it might cost fifty dollars to send them in, but you're going to get them back in maybe three months. All right. So, so we you've definitely changed your tune on it. You um, sure. think it's a lot better now than it, than yep, it was yep. a long time ago. And what are your um, what are your results and what you got back as far as when you send them in? Have you been 
Have you ever been pleasantly surprised? Yeah, you definitely get surprised. Um, not pleasantly. Too, pleasantly, yes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> okay. yeah. Um, well, for starters, like like anything else, you live and learn as you do. You submit more of them. So the first time I sent in, you know, 50 or 100, and I probably shouldn't have sent that many. And just, you know, because you you're feeling them out. You want to see what the grades are. And I did a lot, a lot of monster magazines, famous okay. monsters, and I bought that Ohio collection. And they were high grade. Mm -hmm. um, and we got some really good grades back. The problem is they're not that valuable graded you know anything in a nine eight if you're dealing with anything vintage 60s 70s and it's going to come back in nine six or nine eight you're going to get good money but just say nine nine two which is still good for those that era they're a little more common so you know i made money obviously because i didn't pay much per book and then i got them graded um but not what i would thought i would be getting out of those so, so what, what do some research ahead of time on what you think they're going to come back as and what to expect maybe now, if you join the, correct me if I'm wrong, but if you join the CGC club, mm -hmm. you have access to the population numbers? Yes, absolutely. So basically what I'm hearing you say is if you are going to be sending books in, take a quick look, do research a couple of different ways. Take a quick look to see how many have been graded, what grades they're coming back yeah. as, and then do the search on eBay to see what they're going for. Correct. Yeah. So if you've got a book out there that has thousands of books that are nine four nine six nine eight and you've got it there and you're yeah. saying why am i sending this in yeah. this is a fairly common book whereas if you've got a book that looks really good and you're looking at it going geez there's only been two nine twos and that's the highest grade yeah. definitely get this setting because even if it comes back in uh eight five it's still gonna be worth a fair amount of Correct. money yeah definitely okay yeah uh now how about on the other side and the reason i bring that up is i i we i, I hate to laugh at other people <laughs> But well, we did. It's fun sometimes. Yeah, it is fun sometimes. <laughs> uh, we did. There's a comic book that I follow, and the person had a comic up there. It's, it's a comic from the 1980s, and I think it was graded a 2.5. And that is, for anybody not familiar with grading, that is a terrible grade. Um, absolutely <laughs> terrible for grade. Especially for a newer. For, for a book yeah, from the 1980s. It was golden age, not so much. It's, uh, yeah. um, and all that we could think of as we were looking at it is, especially because this person didn't, like, when I was talking Mr. Magazine, I said, if that were mine, I would market it as worst one ever graded. Even if I wouldn't change the price on it, I'd at least market it that way. Because right. somebody out there might say, wow, this is the worst one out there. I have the highest, and now I can have the lowest. I have the lowest. You might cool. actually yeah. sell it by right. advertising it as the worst one ever graded. But obviously, he didn't, because what he was pricing it at was less than the grading fees. <laughs> yeah. So he didn't send it in to be funny. He didn't send it in for right. any other reason. He missed something on it, obviously. Yeah, yeah. So what are the things that you can miss on things when you send them in to be graded? Uh, sometimes it's the staples off in a certain area. If they stapled it not on the edge. Okay. If it's offset. Oh, that'll, that'll yep. okay. Yeah, um, you know, definitely any corner. Spine is the biggest thing. Like having a solid spine. Um, they call them ticks. You know, depending on how many ticks you have could take down so much. Because um, basically every comic starts at 10, and they work their way down from there from the way I hear that's how they, they do it. Everything's at 10. And every flaw goes down a point or two or whatever. A note they call it uh, color breaks. Is that yeah. a, another thing they say? Yeah. And a color break is when the, when the spine is supposed to be all one color, and then you notice that it's got a tick or whatever. Yeah, and then yeah. it, there's a little bit of a break there in the color. You know, obviously, spine rolling, corners. That, that's the biggest key and stuff like that. That and the spine, all the edges there, front and back. Now, one thing that I've noticed because I've purchased some uh, comics from my own collection. They really do not take down nearly as much as they should, in my opinion, because, and I'm going to say why, there's certain things that are, are pet peeves of mine, mm -hmm. uh, and one of them is writing. Yeah. I don't like writing. Or the date stamp. They don't take much off They don't for take much off for date stamp, and I've, I've picked up a couple of comics, and I got them. I'm like, this has scribbling on the cover. Yeah. They said it was this, you know, a 3.5, and it's got scribbling on the cover. I, yeah. you know, and it was one of those. I really didn't take a quick look. I wanted the comic. I just bought it real quick on eBay. It was one of those, um, oh, yeah, they got one on, and it seems like right. a reasonable price. It's a graded 3.5, and then I got it. And I'm like, this is scribbling on the cover. I wouldn't have <laughs> bought it had I noticed that. Right, yeah. Um, so something like that isn't necessarily the kiss of death that you would think that it would be. Right. No, true. Yeah, um, yeah do yeah, research their stuff. And, you know, if you're going to buy graded stuff on eBay or wherever, do the close-up of the scan so you know what you're getting to as well. What? Some so idiot. Don't, some well, idiot so don't make that mistake. Some idiot didn't yeah, do that. Exactly. So <laughs> I'm clarifying. Yes. Yeah, rub it in, <laughs> why don't you? Um, 
Yeah, so I, I guess I wanted to put this, or we wanted to put this video out to let you know that if you, if you are watching our old videos, again, we were not fans of it. Uh, at this point, Mr. Magazine is a fan of grading. Um, let me ask you another quick question. Sure. Are there any comics, because that's what you, you primarily get, comics and magazines, yeah. that you absolutely should or have to get graded no matter what, in your opinion? I would say any key issues, origin issues, I think, you know. From the, the Silver Age or back. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, for sure. And then also, I would say Hulk 181, uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And, um, and, and even Amazing Spider Man 300, I mean, it's such a big difference, graded and ungraded, even if they look similar condition. You're talking double or triple. Now, what about if you have an off condition one of that? I would still get any, any it easier. Still yeah. It's just so much easier to sell it, honestly. You know, it's okay. worth a $30, $40, $50 investment. I mean, and going back, most of the stuff I sent in, I got pretty good deals on. Um, I can't think of any that I really lost money on. Oh, okay. you know, I made okay. more money being graded, you know. The the other downside though is you did tie your money up for a fair amount of time. Correct. That yeah. is that is a negative side. Yeah. So I guess one of those deals, if you don't have a lot of capital and you pick up a big collection and you need to get money back, maybe don't send in everything that should be sent in to be graded out of it. Just because you've got to live, you got to have money right. for your next deal. But maybe pull the best two or three comics out of it and stick it aside and get those sent in to be graded. Now, one other thing. If you're doing it on your own, and I don't know if you know the answer to this or not, um, how many comics should you send in to be economically wise? In other words, if I get yeah. one, if I get a, a Adventures of Big Boy number 267, it's probably not worth it for me to send that in right. by itself, correct? Yeah, uh, the, the rule is 25 because that's how they'll ship them back to you. So if, okay. you, if you submit them in 25, 50, 75, or 100, you're going to get, you know, one, two, three, four boxes back. And you, so you're maximizing your shipping you know, um, discount, I guess, compared to getting five graded compared to 25, instead of getting it's not five, much difference. Instead of shipping. getting five graded five different times, right. save them up and get 25 Correct. graded once. Right. Yeah. That'll save you some money on the sh return shipping sure. if, if you can. Of course, then you also got the bigger nut up front to send it out. Right. But, you know, it's kind of a trade-off. It'll save you some money in the long run. Yeah. So, again, we want to be different than a lot of other channels, and I think we are in a lot of ways. And one way is we can admit when we, when we were wrong and when we've, um, you know, Things change, and this is certainly a case where it changes. Um, if you want to laugh, go search, search out the old video when we talk about grading, um, and then see see how things have evolved since then. Um, you should sell the graded one with the writing, and then you can use it in your bolo. That is true. That is or true. Or why not to buy? Or until I send it out, and then the person goes, how can this be graded this high? It's got writing on it. <laughs> exactly. Did you watch our video? <laughs> <laughs> Did you hit the like button? <laughs> All right. We will see you next video. Take care. Bye-bye.